What's up, everybody, guys? This weekend, I got to go to the Justice League set in London. Warner Brothers flew me out. They showed me lots and lots of goodies on the set, lots of concept art, lots of costumes, and lots of different sets. But I got to say, the biggest takeaway is how much fun this movie looks like it's going to be. Now, obviously, that was the biggest criticism of Batman vs. Superman. So they're looking to inject this movie with fun and brightness and hope, according to Deborah Snyder and Zack Snyder. This is a big, humorous movie. Ben Affleck backed that up as well. But where is that coming from? It looks like that is all going to fall on the shoulders of Ezra Miller's The Flash. And guess what? It looks like he might be the best part of the entire movie, I have to say. Now, I didn't see all that much of it. I saw a clip, and I saw a scene that was getting filmed right in front of me, which was awesome. And I high five Gal Gadot. So for, the, for that not to be the best part, to high five Wonder Woman in her costume, and that not be the best part of the day, you know something's going really well. And it's the, the fun of this movie that was going really well. Ezra Miller got to deliver jokes in these scenes, and it's, jokes are something that the DC movie universe isn't exactly familiar with. Am I right? Yes, I am. Now. Let's, let's talk about this scene that they filmed on the rooftop. It was Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batman, and The Flash talking to Commissioner Gordon. Now they realize that some scientists have been kidnapped. They realize they have to go attack a parademon nest. And the Cyborg, uh, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, and Batman all disappear while Commissioner Gordon turns his back. It's a lot like uh, Gary Oldman's moments in the Dark Knight trilogy. Now when Commissioner Gordon turns around, The Flash is the only one standing there. And he does something like, oh, wow, they just disappear on you like that, huh? That's rude. And then he zooms off himself. And it was a really funny moment that made even some of the harshest members of the press who were in attendance laugh. It was a great thing to see. It was, it was a moment that instantly stole our hearts for this portrayal of Barry Allen, and we were very excited about it. Now, right before they filmed that, Ray Fisher, who plays Cyborg, came out to talk to us, and Ezra Miller joined him. It was so clear that the chemistry between these two actors was through the roof. They were dancing on set in between takes, they were laughing while talking to the press, and they were very, very comfortable, and they haven't done that yet. Neither of these two guys had to do press for Batman vs Superman because their roles in the film were very, very small. Now, their roles in this movie are huge, and their costumes look awesome, but more on Ezra Miller. We got to see a clip. Zack Snyder introduced a clip that was Bruce Wayne sitting in Barry Allen's apartment and when he wasn't expecting it. Barry comes home. It was a lot like the Spider-Man, the Peter Parker introduction in Captain America Civil War. Barry Allen comes home. To his surprise, Bruce Wayne is sitting in the apartment, and he doesn't say, what are you doing here? He just says, uh, you're, you're introducing yourself as if it's normal that there's a stranger sitting in my second favorite chair. Now, it was really funny because the way Ezra Miller de de delivered the line and all those things were just spot on. And then the conversation goes on to, show, to reveal that Bruce Wayne is recruiting metahumans for the Justice League. He shows a screenshot, a printout of that convenience store surveillance footage that he got in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. And Ezra Miller makes jokes like, that's just a guy who looks exactly like me but is definitely not me perhaps just a very good looking young Jewish boy who drinks milk but I don't drink milk it was hilarious it was very funny it was a lot of fun and he and in that moment when Bruce Wayne cocks back throws a batarang at him and and Barry Allen slows down time he watches it go by he catches it and he realizes Bruce Wayne is Batman and he's quick to join the team he's enthusiastic energetic and he's bringing exactly what Justice League needed to the film now he's not gonna be the only part of the film that looks like it's gonna be very good but he it looks like he's bringing the most important element that this movie needed. I'm just saying, I think Ezra Miller's Barry Allen could be the best part of Justice League, guys. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you want to talk more, hit me up on Twitter or leave a comment below. We'll talk soon, guys. Justice League in theaters November 17th, 2017.